I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I light the candle of scholarship. The flame of this candle signifies wisdom and high scholarship. First of the requirements for admission is scholarship. Honor Society members have inquiring minds, a capacity for hard work, and an eagerness for knowledge. The members have been chosen, first of all, because of their high scholastic standing and faithfulness to their studies. I light the candle of leadership. Those who dare to stand on their own initiative are leaders of life. While leading, they must grow by listening to those who are superior, by heeding the advice of those who are wiser, and by reading and studying the words of those who are more learned. A true leader is marked by self-confidence and poise, both of which are born of experience, knowledge, and the understanding of man. I like the candle of service. The flame of this candle is the flame of service. It means more than work. It is the striving and laboring for the benefit of others. The members of National Honor Society will constantly strive to put others before their own pleasure, help those who are less fortunate, and will serve in every way possible in their school, community, and country. The true beauty of service lies in the simple giving of oneself one's time, and one's ability wherever there is need. I light the candle of character. Character is one force in a person that distinguishes each of us from another. It gives individuality and personality. When it is good, it must arise from high ideals, clean living, and clean thinking. The National Art Society recognizes the development of good character in the individuals as of supreme importance. A sound and good character is the foundation of leadership, scholarship, and service. Members of the National Honor Society have been chosen because of recognized qualities of character. I light the candle of citizenship. The candle of citizenship represents the fundamental basis of good living, not only in school, but in all phases of life. In school, it is the good citizen who sets the example for others to follow and builds up a high standard for the school. Through all walks of life, citizenship unconsciously becomes part of our speech, actions, and thoughts. When you live and work in a community, it is important to volunteer your time because it forms a healthy community with good relationships. You meet new people who someday could help you out with a job or even a scholarship. You form relationships that could last a lifetime. Giving to your community is very important. Fulfillment comes from giving of yourself. 
Your soul will never be quite complete until you give a piece of it away to someone who needs it more. When I started joining clubs and organizations in our school, I started to feel less like the new kid because it gave me a chance to get to know my peers better and feel more a part of the school. When you live in a community or neighborhood, it is important to volunteer with any projects that happen with where you live, whether it be simple cleaning or helping with an organization. Those small things go a long way in our world. No matter what the circumstance is, you will come out of the experience of volunteering a better person. You will find purpose and happiness knowing that you made a positive impact on someone's life which cannot be matched by any amount of money or fame. By volunteering, we are able to give back to our community and make a difference in the world one step at a time. A main benefit that comes from volunteering within your community is knowing that if you ever needed help, it would pop up in a heartbeat. It doesn't matter if you just recently moved in, or if your family has resided here for a few generations. If you have helped with events or made time to help those in need in the past, there is no doubt others will jump in to help you as well. I want to help out as much as I can and give back time to all community members that have helped not only me, but other students out some way at some point in our lives. You should not have to be rewarded to do something that creates something positive. You should just see that someone needs help and go and help because you are willing and are not seeking reward. Putting in time and volunteering helps not only you, but also the community around you. Volunteering helps you appreciate life in general. If you continue to volunteer for things and accept new challenges, it pushes your abilities. It never hurts to be open to learning new things and discovering skills you may think you don't have. I have always believed the quote, share the work, share the wealth. Volunteering has taught me or emphasized organization, time management, creative thinking, and leadership skills beyond what school could teach. Another great part about volunteering is that anybody can do it. No matter how old you are, how much money you have, where you live, or how much free time you have. Anyone can help achieve a common goal. You never know if that time that you give to volunteer could greatly affect someone's life. Volunteering is a way to give back to all the people in the community who have helped you. It just simply feels good to volunteer and getting a good feeling that you help someone regardless of how big or small. It's just the right thing to do. Ultimately, the importance of volunteering to organizations throughout the community is because it builds those relationships with your town and community that raises everyone's quality of life. 
I believe that it is most important to make these community connections and volunteer so you can learn to always appreciate your friends and neighbors and never take the place you come from for granted. Interacting with the many different faces in your community gives you a chance to make new friends and visit with existing ones. The friends you meet through volunteering can stay connected with you for years. The experience you gain through volunteering will help you in your future endeavors. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal at all times to my school and I will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, character, and citizenship.